What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Rebor Studios Alpha Male Mounting Gorilla Gorilla Z Patriarch It's King Kong 2005 Um, yep This is Rebor's tribute to King Kong 2005 And since it doesn't have it, that name, you know, it's obviously a third party Kong here um, but Rebor has done some fantastic work, and as soon as I saw it, I knew what they were doing because they gave us the V-Rexes from the same movie, uh, which I've reviewed, and those things are beautiful, so I had to get this. I mean, they, they showed this off along with those, come on. Um, so you knew what you were getting into. Uh, they also did some variants, which I do talk about in my final thoughts, so, uh, you know, please stay till the end of this review. Um, but this was the one I wanted in particular because I am a con collector. Um, so to have yet another 2005 representation of Kong in the collection done by Rebor, who does beautiful work, yeah, that was something I needed to have. Real quick, I do want to mention, I got this at BBTS where I get all my Rebor figures and uh, shockingly when it arrived, it was in a substandard condition box. Um, but, you know, uh, looking at my account, it did say it, uh, and it is a few dollars cheaper than uh, the other variants, so, uh, I think that reflects that, uh, they must have, reboards themselves must have gotten in, um, you know, the boxes came in damaged on this, so I, I believe they passed that, you know, discount along to BBTS, who I believe passed it along to us. Um, so I, I believe that's what happened. I don't know for sure. I know I definitely did not press substandard on this, so it was a bit of a shock when it came uh, and it had that sticker on there. I'm not a box guy uh, really anymore. I don't really keep them, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, but the figure is. So without any further ado, let's get to a review. So there's no articulation on this guy, so let's just take a look at what it is. An absolute unit. Um, this thing is heavy. It is solid. It says it's PVC plastic, but man, I don't know. It is so, so heavy and chunky. Like, unlike their other figures, it just doesn't feel the same. It feels incredible. Uh, proportions are really, really nice. Obviously, it's, you know, Kong in the stance here, you know, like coming forward. So it's a bit hard to tell, but it looks proper. You know, the legs look a little shorter. The arms look a little longer. It stands really well. So in those terms, I feel like it's all well done. And man, again... I just can't go over how heavy this thing is. Getting up real close to take a look at this guy. Head sculpt is pretty amazing. Look at his ear there, all the fur. All of it is done uh, in this like dark gray plastic. I guess it's plastic. Um, and then it's got a wash over it. You see that? In a lighter gray. Uh, it just, when you look at it, in person, it just has like a nice texture to it. The fur is sculpted tremendously, but we were talking about the head sculpt, weren't we? Um, it's awesome. That's where we started. We start with the hair and it looks really, really good. The brows are nice. Uh, they aren't perfect and I feel like they shouldn't be. The nose. Now, the one thing I did notice, and, and this is interesting. First off, his eyeballs are done in gold uh and then the pupil is done in black but i feel like uh, this one has a little bit more black than that one see that that one needs a little touch up there uh it's got to be a little bit bigger i don't know how like oh it looks like it's following me like it's this is really strange because it's doing the same thing in real life it's like moving you see that I know it's a trick of the light, and he's not, and it looks like he might be cross-eyed or his eye is going crazy, but when you look at it straight on, he's not. It's just that eyeball needs a little more black in it. Um, it's just a little tiny, smaller than that one, the black, I, I believe. Um, the mouth looks pretty good. Teeth done in gray. 
and a little sloppy, but the sloppiness kind of works. You know, it's not going to be perfect. The tongue looks really good. Nice color, different from uh, like the gums and stuff, and lips. Looking really good. I love the folds here. You know, the wrinkles, really nice. Like, you know, he's yelling and he really, really looks like Kong from certain angles from the 2005 Kong. Because that Kong, man, like when he opened his mouth, his, his mouth was like all like weird. Uh, and this has that same similar vibe. And I think they capture that well. Uh, or if it's just a, you know, gorilla, it's fine. Um, but, you know, it, obviously it's not. <laughs> um, the rest of it looks really good. I like the chest a lot. That looks very nice. Again, you got that same deal going on with that lighter gray over um, the darker gray. And uh, it's sculpted super, super well. Now, obviously, they didn't give him any of the scarring. And I guess that's really to stay away from any sort of, you know, license issues. It's a gorilla. Uh, but yeah, this is pre-fight Kong, uh, and that's very, very good. Uh, I do like that. Fur on the arm is fantastic. It looks amazing. I love how it comes down from here, and then over here is, you know, flying this way. Uh, I think that's very cool. You know, it's sculpted all over the place, and I think that's a great way to make it feel real. Um, look at the hands. Very nicely done. All that wrinkle looks amazing. The nails are painted, looking good. Oh, we got some feet here. Feet, Rebore 2020, made in the PRC. Mm. <laughs> Lots of wrinkles there. Very nice. I do have a little bit of a mold thing here. See that right at the bottom of the foot? You really can't see it, but a little mess up right there, but that's not so bad. Um, it's on the bottom of the foot, basically. A little bit on the side, but, you know. So the feet look pretty good. That one you can see a lot better. I like it. Looks really good. See all the wrinkles and stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful sculpt. But, yep, we got some Kong butt, Gorilla butt. Um, it's a nice butt. A little, little shaky butt, turkey butt. Um, go all the way up the spine here. I like how they did that. That looks really good. So beautiful. And then, then the, the fur on the stomach is done very well because it's not like crazy. It's just very, very nicely done. You know, just looks good, <laughs> you know? And I, that attention to detail, well, like, you know, you see the fur here sculpted differently, um, is fantastic. The one thing I'll say is there's no like variance as far as color, and they use really two colors for the entire body. Um, the darker gray and the lighter gray. And it works. I wish there was a little bit more in terms of that. But, you know, in certain parts, I guess the lighter gray has a little bit of a yellow to it. And maybe it is there. Maybe it is there. But it also might be applied a little thicker in certain spots. So, which achieves the same you know, the same results. So you do see it feels a little darker in spots than other spots. Um, so that's good. It's awesome though. It's really, really well done. I do like it. Again, thick, heavy, and um, sculpt work is fantastic. You know, I, I, I really like it. Again, maybe a little bit messed up on the teeth, but it's not so bad. And um, the eye, I, yeah, you know, it is, this one has more black than that one. Pretty positive about Yeah, definitely. So, other than that, man. Fantastic, fantastic piece. For your size comparisons, first up, let's have a little bit of a conga palooza here with some of the Kongs in my collection. Here's Kong with a bunch of NECA and SH Monster Arts Godzillas because I would never hear the end of it if I didn't compare it to every posable Godzilla it could possibly be with. I don't think the SH Monster Arts scale well with it. I think he's uh, a little bit too chunky for those, but yeah, with the NECAs, 
Nekas, uh, I think, are pretty decent. Though, if he stood up, he'd probably be a lot taller. Here you go, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Um, so, maybe it doesn't scale well there, but I think, you know, in a display, it's not the worst thing. Granted, this, you know, Kong never faced off against Godzilla, did he? But here is the thing you want it to scale with, and that's Rebor's own V-Rexes. That's right, um, they made this. And I couldn't wait for them to make this because it took a while for this to come out. Uh, I, I did the review for the two of these that I have uh, quite a while back. I don't know where the other one is. It wasn't in my Kong display. So he's around somewhere. But that is a great, great scale. No doubt about it. I think they did fantastic here. Uh, and I absolutely recommend the V-Rexes, especially if you're going to get this particular Kong figure. And my final thoughts, this thing is awesome. I feel like my one little issue is uh, really minor, and that's the eye pupil. I don't even mind a little bit of sloppiness with the teeth. Uh, it's not so bad, you know, the eye could be a little bit better. Um, you know, it, it just needs a little more black in it, but otherwise, Man, it's awesome. It is super heavy. It looks like the 05 Kong. It feels like it. Um, so yeah, this is something I definitely wanted to add to my Kong collection. You know, once again, uh, I wish I didn't get a substandard box, but you know, it was one of those things where it doesn't really matter to me as long as the figure is good and the figure is fantastic. It really is. I really do like this particular representation representation of Kong. Now you uh, could get variants of this. Um, there is also a Primal Rage variant, which is, I believe that's the BBTS exclusive. There is a Skung, Kong Skull Island variant uh, in varying colors and a Rampage one. So it's like, you know, the albino looking George like. But none of those are kind of accurate, you know, it, it's just a cool little paint variant. Um, for me, you know, just getting another Kong representation was the one I really wanted. Um, will I possibly get others in the future, some of those others? Maybe? Um, but not anytime soon. I'm happy with this, uh, uh, which is awesome. That is what I wanted. Um, a lot of good Congo 5 stuff. Uh, lately, huh? So uh, this came at a beautiful time, right in the middle of a like Kong a revolution that started last year, and it's gonna keep on going. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below, and please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.